Hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. This is Hi, this is Maggie Larimore. And I am going to show you how to do some really nice things with your inventory. So you remember this little suitcase is your inventory. And I'm going to bring mine up and don't get worried. Your inventory could be small, like on the recent tab if you haven't gotten anything recently, or big, oh, like you've gotten way too many things recently. I have, you have options. You have options of organizing your inventory. You can sort by name, which is what I do. You can sort by most recent, which works sometimes. You can sort by folders always by name and system folders to the top. So these are the things that you start out with and this is all the stuff that you got for your got in on your own or made on your own. Now what I'm doing down here is I'm clicking on that little arrow next to the settings and when I do that it shows me all the different things I can do. If I had a filter and I set one, I could use those. If I want to close all my folders, sometimes most of them are open, and this is really useful. If I want to empty what's in the lost and found, right now I don't want to do that. I have a copy of Veg, the virtual education journal that I want to put back in the Chilbo Education Resource Center. So leaving that there, I can also empty my trash. That sounds like a good idea, and I'm going to do that. Now, what I've done here, some of these were folders that I was given. And then I decided to make folders inside of these subfolders to keep things straight. So for instance, body parts had, I put in avatar collection, I made that one, eyes, hair, shapes, and skins. In clothing, I put in boots and socks and shoes and skates, jeans and slacks, see? Jewelry and accessories. These are all my outfits. Shirts, skirts, all that good stuff. So basically, I made subsections in these various uh, areas so that I could kind of manage what I had. Like, for instance, these are things that I've gotten in some of the courses we've been in and some things that I put here on my own and then some things that uh, need to be put into subdirectories. Now, as you can tell, I have all this junk down here that has to do with SL MOOC. Let me get my thing all sorted again, just alphabetically. And I started with an SL MOOC folder and I put in some educational services that I heard about from Isa Goodman, who is also known as Aaron Griffiths, and he did a talk for us in SL MOOC 15. And then I have some wall signs, and then I have materials from SL MOOC 14 and SL MOOC 15. And then I have some general landmarks and various um, note cards that I use. This one, these all the way down here, are some of the note cards that are available in all of this gut stuff up here. These are the wall boards that tell you where all the courses are and what's happening. And when you click on those, you get a relevant um, uh, subdirectory. And you can tell I have a lot of them because I've been using my recent tab to get information to put into the YouTube videos. When you have lots of stuff and you want to delete some, you right click, just like always, on the name of the folder and you click delete and it lets you uh, think about it before you do it and so I'm going to say okay. If you have several things that you want to get rid of, you just click the first one and then you move your mouse down and it highlights it just as if you were in a Word, Word doc and again click delete. So I have a lot of Mad P here and I'm going to click delete and then I have some extras on Learn in Town. And so I'm going to click delete. Now I have all this great stuff that comes from the class that I really want to put into my main SL uh, 
MOOC 16 a subdirectory. So what I'm going to do here, this one is just presenters. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, that tells me information about the presenters. I'm going to rename that one and just call it SLMOOC 16. Where'd it go? I think I accidentally deleted it. Oh well, that's okay. So I'm tell I'm going. What I'm going to do now is make. Wait, let me make sure I didn't put it somewhere where it's not supposed to be. This looks like these are identical. That's okay. That should be SL MOOC. Yeah, I did. I cut it out of there. So we're going to make this SL MOOC um, 16 sign. And then we're going to see what this one is. This is the same thing. So we're going to delete that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is make a subdirectory that just says SL MOOC 16. So I'm going to go down here and click on the little plus, and let me pull this down. I could do lots of things like upload images, make a new folder, a new script, a new note card, gesture, new clothes. I'm going to do a new folder, and I'm just going to call it SL MOOC 16. And I'm going to move it up inside of this one, which is the general SL MOOC guy. And then I'm going to move everything just by clicking, that was a left click, and I'm using the arrow key to highlight all those, and I'm going to move all of those in there. And then I'm going to see, these look like general things. This is from 15, so we'll put that up there. And these are general landmarks, and that's a copy of the group joiner. So those are general to the course, so I'm going to leave them like that outside of the subdirectories and under the main directory. So that's a way you organize certain things. And I'm going to show you something else that I did. I used to take a lot of um, Spanish from a Eugenia Calderon and speak for Spanish. And I have a number of things that are here. For instance, I had correspondence with her. And these were basically my corrected tarea, my, my homework. This is all my homework. And I organized it by the courses that I took. These needed to be put away, so like this one needs to go there. This one, I'm not sure where that was. This one was probably in 2013. So I took courses with her from 2009 to 2013. And then this was something about this over of uh, this theater work that we did. And this was her old landmarks. I'm actually going to delete that one because this one is the correct one now. And this was some Tarea someplace, so I'm going to click it up. And it just shows you that this was a card she had given us with instructions about what we were supposed to do. So I would have done that and turned it in to be graded. And she would have returned a corrected one to me, so I can delete that. So these are the, these are the actual books. These are pretty cool. She has some really nifty books. These are books that she makes using the IntelliBooks system. So those are my textos. Let's see, those are all the main textos, and these are the ones that didn't get into the texto subdirectory. I don't think the Expresso needed to be there. This one should be in textos, though. And that's what the books look like. You could open them, and you'd see all the different pages. Let me move this out of the way. Isn't that nifty? And then you can close them up again. By detaching. So that's how I kept all of my stuff for my Spanish class kind of straight. These were, you can see some of this other stuff. These were uh, theater things that we did as students. So sometimes it gets out of whack, basically. I'm going to empty the trash again. You can see, like, I've got zinnias. I've got some furniture down here, which needs to go up into objects. And I've got this wonderful little fireplace back there that needs to go back up into objects. And I've got a note card um, subdirectory that needs to go up into note cards. This is a landmark that needs to go up into landmarks. So what I try to do, although I haven't done it so well, like this is a gift from Zidia Zauber. So I'm going to put that in SL MOOC. And I'll go into SL MOOC and I will move it. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm going to move it into SL MOOC 16 because that's where it belongs. 
these are some new shoes I bought so I'm going to put them up in clothing go up in clothing and I'm going to put those in boots and socks so they go up there and then I'm going to go in there and move them where they need to go which is boots so if you keep this put together I have 18,878 items which I think is ridiculous um, but if you keep uh, try to keep all of this stuff put together like here's another one that goes into SL MOOC you go down and make sure that goes into the right spot, SL16. Then it's a little bit easier on you um, if you keep these in order. And again, the, the key things are to click down here by the settings button and decide how you want to sort your stuff. You can make filters, you can do close folders, you can empty your lost and found or empty your trash. This is the other crucial one. It allows you to come up with another folder. Uh, the new folder will go under my inventory. Then you right click and rename it and let it be alphabetized, alphabetized in the way that you want to do it. And you can also, if you learn how to script, you make a new script here, a new note card. I always had to do that for my, my homework, for my Spanish class. I'd open a note card and I'd have the book open and I'd take a look and write things down and so on. And that would go where it needed to go. Now you can tell here I have not organized my note cards so I'm in big trouble in the note card department. And then these are my favorite landmarks. And then down here are the really nifty library things that you get from Second Life when you come in world. And a lot of the different digital worlds like um, OpenSIM and all that stuff will give you a certain amount of materials that are in your initial library and those can help you get around and dress and do the basic things without having to buy anything. So I have all kinds of neat stuff here as you can tell. Basic chairs and a media player and all that stuff. So that's a little bit about doing your inventory and what I usually like to do is just sit down in a quiet place, open up my inventory and start playing with it when I'm not interested in doing much else. Sometimes if I get overwhelmed by all the really nifty things that are happening in Second Life, I go find some quiet place and work on my inventory and that uh, calms everything down. Like whoop, here's another one. This is from, I think this is from one of the one of the SL MOOC talks. So I'm going to put it in SL MOOC, go in there and make sure I put it in to SL MOOC 16. So this is my my little inventory um, tutorial and I hope you uh, get something out of it and it helps you organize your stuff and so that's it. So thanks so much and I will see you around Second Life. Thank you. <laughs>